zoom in as tight as you could with say the cheap lens, but you would never get a picture off of that cheap lens simply because the lens just does not allow enough light in. So in regards to our solar projects, you need to think of things as the amount of light that reaches your project. You don't need a perfect, perfect mirror. You don't need a perfect focal point to boil water or to do any of the things that you need to do. The more accurate it is, the better that your project's going to work. But there's a point where you need to decide whether you need a $10,000 mirror that can't get handled without getting fingerprints on it that's going to destroy the first mirror surface that's going to get your spot to maybe 3000 degrees Fahrenheit or use a mirror that is made out of an acrylic material that wouldn't make a great telescope mirror but it's going to get your spot to about 2700 degrees Fahrenheit and it's not going to give you the optical perfection but it's going to cost three or four hundred dollars versus several thousand dollars also Another thing to consider too is with the Fresnel lenses, the line per inch. Now people will ask a lot of times, usually people who don't really have a lot of experience with Fresnel lenses, they'll go to websites or blogs and they'll read about lines per inch. And basically what the line per inch is, is the groove on these Fresnel lenses. Now, lines per inch are basically, if you look at this lens very close up, you can see that there's tiny little rings on it. With optics, as far as like viewing an image, the finer those are, the less distortion you're going to have. But with sun collecting factor, the exact opposite is true. Up to a certain point, the finer the lines, the more areas that you have that actually create dead spots. Now what I mean by a dead spot is that Fresnel lenses, they have to have a point. And there is a, a limit to how sharp you can make those points on the Fresnel lens. So that point is a dead spot in which light goes down the length of the acrylic. Now with the Fresnel lens, the more of those dead spots that you have, the hazier the lens may appear. It may be great for optics, for enlarging things, for illuminating stuff, but as far as a solar project, well, it doesn't really help you much. I have a lens that is about 50 lines per inch, and I'm going to show you that compared to a lens with 175 lines per inch, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The first lens that I'm going to show you is the one of our lenses that has 100 and it's a spot lens. It's got 150 to 175 lines per inch. It's got a really long focal length, so it doesn't work well as a page magnifier either. And you can see that it's a very clear lens. I mean, it's got a nice lens clarity to it. You compare that to the lens that I talked to you about that has a 50 line per inch. Now, this is the only lens that I have like this. I've got I've got a pretty good collection of these. This. This is the only one with this. Now, I'm going to move back and forth to try to show you the clarity of the lens. And you can see that this lens just lets a lot more light in. This lens is so powerful that it actually, I took a cement block and went up against the cement block with it. And uh, it actually, before it started melting the cement block, it actually blew the cement pieces into little tiny pieces of pop. It was like popcorn popping. That's how quickly it was. Now, this lens uh, reached temperatures over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and for a small lens of this size, this lens is probably 38 inches by 27 inches. For a lens this size to do that, that's pretty amazing, because the highest that we usually get with the smaller lenses it is, this one will do probably 1,800 to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This lens is pretty spectacular. So we are working on a process. I actually, because these rings are larger, that means that they are slightly easier to manufacture. So we're working on some Fresnel molds from some Fresnel designs that we're actually trying to make ourselves. And we've actually gotten some good results. I just need to find the right material to complete the design. And hopefully we can get one of these with this clarity to be four foot by five foot. All right, so to recap, we've discovered that the LPI is not necessarily that important. Lower LPI is down to about 50. It's pretty much optimal for solar. Also, you don't need to have a perfect, uh, perfect telescope mirror to concentrate sunlight. One acrylic one like this will do just about the same job and it costs a fraction. You're talking $3,000 mirror versus a $100 mirror pretty big difference and allows you to do a lot more with your projects. We've also discovered that the X 
X magnification factor has no bearing on your project. It's the equivalent to the focal length. So what really matters with your sun project is the amount of sunlight that you get to your target. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.